<laughs> our Greens family, I'm here with one of our good brothers, um, tour member for the Ghana May 2019 tour. Um, brother, can you introduce yourself to our people? Um, my name is Juma Rafiki, I'm from uh, Los Angeles, California. Um, Excellent, brother Juma. Uh, so what brings you on the journey of a lifetime and why did you choose Africa for the Africans to um, take you on that journey? Well, this has always been, um, I think, part of my life past, starting from when I was a kid. Um, I first came across uh, Bomani's tour on the website of LIB Radio. Um, and like most African Americans, we've always had questions about, you know, where we're from and we're wondering at one time or another if we would ever get a chance to, to come to Africa, to, uh, to actually touch this place, be a part of it, to be able to walk the earth. And um, so when um, I found out about Africa for the Africans, I knew that I wanted to take a black tour. I didn't want to come to Africa with a bunch of white people and everything that were going to disrupt my spiritual connection to the country. And that's when I came across Bomani's uh, Tour Africa for the Africans and contacted him to decide to come. Uh, uh, excellent. So now we have driven around uh, four different regions in Ghana. Uh, do you feel like while you dr drove around the, the country, you was able to get all of the things that we promised you as far as roots, culture, business, investment, nightlife, shopping, networking? Yeah, um, we got that and much more. Um, it's a non-stop tour, you know, and going from one region to another, from starting from the very day that you get here, um, there's very little time to, uh, to do anything else except hit one spot after another. So it's a very comprehensive tour in that way. Um, you really just couldn't ask for anything more. Excellent. And what we do, we do package things up that way you have a full itinerary, but we tell people that you can... Uh, just adjust, but yeah, that's what we want to bring to people that it's not a vacation, uh, it's more for a reconnection and many other wonderful things. Exactly. So definitely appreciate you as able to roll with uh, the yeah. flow. Now, what are some of your highlights of the journey? What are the, the, your best moments? <clears throat> well, <clears throat> for me, I'm always going to say for any African American that is able to take their first vacation or leave the continent, of course, Europe is not on that itinerary. I don't think African Americans need to be going to Europe first. They need to be coming here first. And when you come here first, as part of our tradition of no of return, I think that for me, the highlight was going back the way that we came through the slave castles of Cape Coast and Elmina, Elmina Castle. Elmina Castle is over here to my left. Uh, for about 15 minutes away from Africa One, where I'm sitting at right now. So, um, other than going to the slave castles and sharing in the experience of your ancestors, then it's the three-star hotels, the food, and and nothing can compare with the people here. You know, it's a 360-degree uh, turn uh, uh, from what you would expect or how you would expect African or black people to be in the world. You'll never experience anything like they're the most kind, uh, beautiful people that you'll ever meet anywhere on this on this planet. And they look like you. Uh, excellent, the while we have a group of, it's 30 of us. Uh, were you able to connect with uh, others and make new friends and new connection? Yes, um, I, of course I came with my own business cards and so I shared, um, you know, I plan on staying in touch with a lot of other people. Um, hopefully, and making that reconnection to be able to come back, if not, maybe even a... We've talked about business opportunities. The business opportunities are all over the place. I don't care if it's from toothpicks to ice, construction, um, electrical engineering, restaurant business, it's just wide open. So yeah, I've been able to make a lot of contacts to consider um, maybe possibly engaging in one of these enterprises. That's perfect. Uh, now, do you feel like you are well prepared for this journey and then once you got here, everything flows into that preparation? Yeah, well, you know, you gave us all a handbook um, that was pretty comprehensive and uh, let us know pretty much what to expect. Yeah, and um, so most of us have booked our tours well in advance. I booked mine well in advance and, and if um, I think that most people, before they take the tour, go uh, Google Ghana. 
and Google Bomani and and just take in some of the videos and some of the information that will also help you to prepare because like I said it's nothing like what you would expect it's just totally something absolutely totally different you know? perfect brother we appreciate uh, your energy on that and just want to know if you want to share anything else um, with the family uh, that's uh, watching and uh, you know, possibly thinking about coming but uh, maybe a little um, you know, maybe a little scared because you know we're flying, we're driving, we're moving to a different country. Uh, you got to get visas, preparation, all those things. No, no, you shouldn't fear any of those things. That's um, it sounds like a lot and everything, but if you look at this backdrop behind me of the Atlantic Ocean, once you come and see this and everything else on the tour, all that's minuscule. It, it doesn't even matter. You'll be glad that you came, and this is going to be an experience that'll follow you the rest of your life. All right, excellent, my brother Juma. We appreciate your energy and thank you for being just a well-organized brother and just giving us all your support and energy and you know, doing the things that we ask people to do. You know, we know the schedule is rough, but just rolling with the flow of it, which is what we highly tell people. You're going to be, you know, some hotels are going to be nicer than some. Right. Uh, the bus is brand new. You know, mm -hmm. we give you the best, but at the same time, too, we do a, do a few things to get you to feel the experience in the country because one of the things we always tell people is that our ancestors went to a hell, a hell of a lot more hell yeah. accommodations, Just and nothing, we have the right. best accommodations. So I always right. tell people that there's not much to complain about, and uh, you know. So I just want to find out from you if there's anything that you have that uh, that you feel like is a complaint from you, and no. that, uh, that we mm -hmm. or maybe the country of Ghana can do better. No, I have no complaints at all. I, I'm, like I said, I'm from Los Angeles. I'm from the hood. <laughs> this is nothing like that at all. I mean, I'm not really all that anxious to get back to tell you the truth because hey. I know what I have to go back and deal with that again but we can always know, change the ticket <laughs> yeah I can always change the ticket and stay though you know as long as I've got a, a few CDs absolutely bro. well brother appreciate your time and energy and I look forward to connecting with you on many other wonderful journeys and look forward to for you to share your experience with others so we can get more and more people on the continent so we can build this beautiful pan-african nation for, for Africans on the continent and Africans in the diaspora yeah. well, thank you for money absolutely